up real quick. Uh, just, I mean, if we just stop a second and just look around, I mean, this is kind of, I mean, not only is this a great day as a coach, you know, to be able uh, to spend a day like this for guys that have been a part of our program, but if you just look around, I think you know uh, kind of how special it is for our school, our program, and these families uh, with everybody that's represented here. Um, first of all, let me thank the friends, the families, uh, grandparents, and everybody that are here. We got some administration here, some older Hillcrest coaches, uh, some guys that have coached these boys growing up uh, that have come back, and that's that's always great to see because these are two guys. And, and I'll just say for just a second, uh, from my heart, these are two guys that's been in our program since they were freshmen, and with Walt at the very get go, and, and Garrett, we tore him up uh, both of their freshman year, and so I've been able to be. Uh, to see them as they've grown and as they've played for four years now. And uh, I could say, I could sit here if I wanted to and spit to you guys tons of stats and it would impress you. It really would because both these guys, I mean, they're, they're signed in baseball scholarships for a reason, not just because they're an average high school player. That would impress you. Uh, but if you sit back and you get to know these boys and you've seen how hard that they go about what they do over a course of four years and are that consistent at it, um, that's the thing that impresses you, and that's the reason why they're sitting here signing this scholarship. I mean, both of these young men, uh, if I was to choose, if I was to talk about Walt, I mean, this guy, if I'm talking to coaches, this is one of the hardest workers we got. I mean, he lives to work, uh, whether it be in the weight room or hitting or whatever. And uh, for four years now, I mean, this guy, if he works out here, where's he going to go at night? And all of you guys back there know where he's going to go at night. He's going to go in another weight room and work. And Garrett does the same thing. He goes across town and goes into another training facility just to, to push their self to get that much better. And these guys have did that over, over not just one year, you know, not just a few months, but over the course of their high school career, uh, put themselves in the best position that they could personally succeed. So that is one thing. The baseball, like I said, speaks for itself because these guys have not just been on the team for four years. They've been playing for four years. Um, you know, Walt, we took, a, we took a lot of grief. I guess I took a lot of grief as being the head coach because we put this guy in and we started him at first base when he was a freshman. Um, and he started over several upperclassmen. And uh, it's because he was that good, you know? And I've been asked about him. And when I, when I, when I get a question asked about him, I'm going to tell you there's no better defensive first baseman than guys will tell you, right? Matt, there's no better defensive first baseman that I've ever seen in high school baseball. When I played, when I've coached, um, period, uh, than Walt Bailey over the last four years. That's why he's been a stay there. That's why he's played. I've tried to move him away and play other positions, and I can't do it uh, because he's that great of a first baseman. Um, and the same thing goes true for, for Garrett. I mean, we pulled him up as a freshman, and, and – put this freshman against, now this is the year that, you know, they're both wearing their state championship rings. This is the year we won it, and we put them against the team that won the state championship that year. As a freshman, throwing against those guys early in the playoffs so they could see a good arm. And our thing was, and Coach Bowen, remember, he's back there, our thing was, man, this guy's, this guy's getting ours. Now, he's just tearing up, like, our lineup. The team that went on to win it, he's tearing up our lineup as a freshman. And not only... That year, he stepped in as a sophomore and became our number one pitcher as a sophomore and became our number one pitcher as a junior. And now he's going into his senior year. And, um, you know, hopefully he, he continues that, that streak. Uh, so that's, that's the baseball portion for these young men and what they've meant to our program over those four years. But, I, but those things aside, it's been a pleasure. It's been a blessing. Guys, thank you for families for letting them be in our program and being a part of all this because – for me, having guys like this in our program is just, uh, there's been a lot of great ones that's come through here as far as people, personality, uh, what they add to the program, what they add to the guys that sit in the back. And these guys are two of the best because uh, they bring it every day. They're going to do the right thing. And um, they're coachable. And they're, they're, they're people, they're kids in your program that, that you can rely on. And, and there's, I mean, I could continue to throw out characteristics about them, but man, they're just, great teammates, they're great people to have. And I've just been blessed to have them. Um, kind of sometimes where you just kind of step back and say, go do your thing. 
almost. Uh, that's what these two are made out of. Um, so I'm grateful. Thank you guys for three years that you put in. I can't wait to see the, the last the last half and what uh, what you guys do for this program. I, I hope this is the, the first two of, of several signings this year. Um, I know we got a great senior class that I've been looking forward. I told these guys earlier in the, the year that I've been looking forward to this senior class for a while now. And, and, and it goes back to those things because there's many guys like Garrett and like Walt in this, that makes up this senior class. Um, and not just because of what the end result brings. I mean, yeah, we'd love to win it at the end of the year. That's great. That's fine and dandy. But what these guys do every single day and what they bring out of each other and how they push each other um, to be better people and better players and uh, the experience that they have this year as they finish their uh, their history, their their time at Hillcrest. Uh, it's, just, it's a great senior class, and I'm um, grateful for every one of them that are, that are part of it. Um, so that's mine. I just want to say thank you guys. I'm proud of you guys. Always a great day for us to be able to see it. Uh, one of our players be able to take it to the next level and continue to do what they love. You guys have done this. You, you've earned it. Um, and it's just it's a pleasure for us. Thank you guys again. I'm going to let Coach Sproul say something to you guys for just a second. Um, Coach Sproul, come on. Hey, real quick, guys, I, I won't take one.